Hello, it's Euler's method time. Question one, we're using Euler's method to uh, find an approximate value for y at 0 0.02, sorry, 0 0.2 for the initial value problem with step size h equals 0.1. So we know right off the bat that y at zero is equal to one when we want to approximate our next step up, which will be at y at 0 0.1. That's going to be equal to uh, this pass value that we had, so uh, our y at 0, which is 1, plus our step size of 0.1 times uh, this guy evaluated, our, so our y prime evaluated with our, our most recent known values for t and y. So in this case, t is 0, y is 1, so we just get 1 squared, and there this is 1.1. So now our new initial, not initial condition, but current condition to work with is y at 0 0.1 is equal to 1.1. And so we can approximate y at 0 0.2 as that value, 1.1 plus 0 0.1 times uh, y prime ev evaluated at those conditions. So that's 1.1 squared, which is 1.21 plus uh, 0 0.1 squared, which is 0 0.01. This is 1.1 plus uh, 0.1 times 1.22, so 0.122, and we add that up, and y of point, not 0 0.2, got 0 0.2, is equal to 1.222. Five, let's use Euler's method which with h equals 0.5 to approximate y at 1 for y prime equals uh, that right there, given that y at 0 is equal to 2. So our next step up is going to be y at 0 0.5, uh, because we always jump up by exactly one h value. And this will be uh, our most recent value for y, which is 2 plus our h value, 0.5, multiplied by y prime evaluated at our most recent known condition. So that's 2 times 1 minus 0 times 2. So 1 minus 0, this just evaluates to 2. And we get 3. So uh, we are approximating y at 1. So this is our last step. y at 1 is equal to 3 plus 0.5 times, uh, 0.5 times what? Uh, y, which is 3 times 1 minus uh, 0.5 times 3. Uh, 1 minus 0.5 times 3, that's 1 minus 1.5. That will give us negative 0.5 in here. Multiplied by our 3 is negative 1.5. Multiplied by 0.5 is negative 0.75. So we're really subtracting 0.75 from 3, we get 2.25. Five, let's find the approximation of y at three by using Euler's method with a timestamp, not timestamp, time step of h equals one. We know that y of zero is equal to two, so we're approximating y of one. Uh, that's going to be y at zero, so two, our most recent known condition, plus our uh, h value of one multiplied by y prime evaluated at that uh, condition y at 0 is 2, so that's cosine of 0 t, so 1, multiplied by y of t, which is 2, minus t, which is 0, so we get 4. And then y of 2 is 4 plus our time, stamp, our time step of 1, multiplied by uh, the cosine, cosine of so, sorry, I sometimes need to write this out. We're now dealing with y at 1 is 4. Uh, so the cosine of pi, which is negative 1, multiplied by y, which is 4, minus t, which is 1. So this is 4 minus 4 minus 1, that's negative 1. And finally, y at 3 is negative 1 plus, and I'll put this down in here, y at 2 is negative 1 negative 1 plus 1 times the cosine of 2 pi, so 1 
times y, which is negative 1, minus t, so minus 2, and this gives us negative 4. y at 3 is approximately negative 4. And all of these signs I should be writing as approximately equal to's, uh, but I, I've obviously been not, sorry about that if that bugs you. And finally, we are, uh, we're told that y of t is the exact solution of this initial value problem, and that the y approximate of t is the approximate solution of this initial value problem found by using Euler's method with a step size of h equals 1. We know that y at 1 is equal to 0, so we're approximating y at 2. This will be y at 1, so 0, plus our time step size, which is 1 multiplied by y prime, evaluated uh, at our current condition. So uh, we're going to need to put this into a form y equals. Right now we have ty prime minus 2y equals t. Let's add a 2y, make this t look more t-like, and then divide out a t, 1, 2y over t. There we go. Okay, uh, so we're, we are plugging in 1 for t and 0 for y into this. So 1 plus uh, 0 over 1, so that's just 0, and y of 2 is 1. y of 2 is approximately 1. And if we're approximating y of 3, which will be our final step, that's y of 2 plus our uh, time step size, which is 1, multiplied by y prime evaluated at uh, 2, 1. So that will be 1 plus 2 over 2, so 1 plus 2, sorry, 1 plus 1, and then 1 plus 2, so that gives us 3. Okay, hopefully this was helpful. These questions are very formulaic. Just, you know, run, run through it the exact same way every single time, and uh, there's not much that they can really throw at us uh, to, to, to make these that hard.